Hey up, I'll read. That's uh, TF Nation 2016 over and done with. And of what I can remember from it, because I got a bit pissed. It was a fantastic weekend. I'm not going to go on about the weekend because we all had the same experience. It was awesome, the people were awesome, blah 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 blah. That we all know. What I'm going to do is show you my toys. So first off, I odd and ummed over this all weekend because it was a very 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 reasonable price and I want a set of these chaps. And luckily, at the end of the sort of convention, towards the end of the Sunday, I went up and I was like, hmm, hmm. And this couple came across and she was going, oh, dude, it's across here, it's really cheap, you should get them. And I was like, fuck it, grab. And it was a pla platinum pack of Incepticons. I've already put the stickers on. Can you see? Uh, yeah, they're going to look fucking awesome sauce on the shelf. Yeah, quite happy with those. I fucked up one of the stickers, but meh. I also picked up Masterpiece Bumblebee! Yay! I wanted him last year, but he was in short supply, and by the time I'd made up my mind if he was worth it, they were gone. This year, I didn't take the chance, I got him straight away. Yes, he comes with Mini, Spike, or Daniel, or whoever it is. Judging by the face, it's Daniel. Um, yeah, and the Generation 2 Bumblebee, like Goldbug, he was only 30 quid, but for, I took the punt, and I'm worth it. It's worth it, I'm glad I did. Because now I have these two awesome motherfuckers. Bumblebee was technically the only MP figure I picked up. I did pick up this chap. But he is a KO. He is a KO. He is not a real figure. But I've had him next to the blue MP Blue Streak. And there's very little difference. There's a couple you can tell, there's a couple of pants. The legs are slightly loose, and that's all I can say. Side by side, there's not a lot of difference. He, he won't hold his re weapon really well. I think I just need to, sh like, tiny, tiny bit off of the, off of the, you know, the masterpiece handle connection, and that'll be fine. But other than that, I mean, look at him. Can you see him? He was, he was very cheap, and he... Alright, it's not official, but I, couldn't, I, I would have bought an official one, but I couldn't see one, so got this cheap, dirty KO, and he'll do the trick until I get the real one, which, to be honest, I may never know. RC! Awesome, Takara RC. I figure I've watched her a long time as well, and I watch her on eBay quite a lot, but she always goes for a bit more than I'm willing to pay for, so I picked her up. And I'm very, very happy I did, because my collection is very much a sausage fest. I think I only have, like, two other... Um, Fembots, and those are both the R.I.D. like um, strong arm and wind blade. So my my perfect movie, eighty six cast is getting better and better all the time. So those were the the sort of new ones and the sort of ones I was after that I bought. Um, I did get quite a lot of loose stuff. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I keep them. Keep, uh, keep looking there, and I don't mean to be you. So on the Friday when I got there, we're straight away introduced. Uh, to everyone and greeted by everyone, it was awesome and yay! But I was standing at the bar with my first drink and Stu Blythe from the TFYTC comes up and he's like, got a little present for you and I was like, oh, me? And he gave me a little Beast Wars, uh, Beast Wars, Beast Hunters huffer. Look at that! Because he knows how much I'm fond of bots this colour. And that started my weekend off with a lovely bang, to be honest, that was very, very nice. And he is now proud of place in the collection. I have a thing for sentiment and that made me very happy. Yay! Now, as Mr. Dorian Vigadeth himself said, I know fuck all. I know. I always get names mixed up. 90% of the time it's because I'm just forgetful. 10% of the time it's because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, but, so the, these figures, while I know roughly who they are, I don't know what makes them, what, what lines they're from, but I just know I like them, so that's why I bought them. First one is Power Glide. Is it Universe? No. Is this Universe Power Glide or Generations Power Glide? I think it's Universe. Um, I've wanted him for a long time because I've got this thing for really big weird looking bots and he's just, he's a bit weird and he cost me fuck all so I got him. Another figure I wanted, um, because I found this in a charity shop like two years ago now and it's a McDonald's toy and I think it's Energon Ironhide and I wanted the real one of him because I thought surely the real toy kind of look that weird. Turns out it does. Look at this fucking big bastard and how, I don't care if that's his weapon actually because well, I took all the weapons off to, to, for travelling and now I can't remember whose weapon's whose. I think that might be someone else's. But anyway, look at the fucking clip of this guy. He's awesome. He's massive. 
A lot of came. As I say in most of my videos, the one bot that started off my actual collecting was Jazz. This little Legends Jazz, Reveal the Shield, that uh, Borders dude got me. And um, he holds sentiment, and he, for a long time he was my lucky charm. But if you can see him, look, he's absolutely in shit condition. So I wanted another one. But he seems to be as rare as hen's teeth, because I've never, even online, I've never found one. I found one a few months ago, but they were wanting 40 quid for him, so they can fuck off with that. Anyway, found one. Yay! It was meant in box, and I was going to leave it in its box. I didn't. I picked up four random Minicon Stroke Micromasters. This dude, because he looks a little bit like a Minicon Ironhide. This dude, because he's orange. Nice. And this dude, because there were three for a fiver. So, I picked another one. G1 Sandstorm. He's pretty well stickered up and stuff, and he's got all his parts. He's complete. He came with his weapon. And, uh, yeah, I wanted him, because again, because he's orange. But, they were selling them in pretty shit nick for pretty shit prices, to be honest. Pretty Ken charging too much. And I saw this guy on, I forget what stall it was now, and he was a fiver with his weapon, so I thought, fuck it, I'll take a punt on that. Like, Now, this is one of the ones, is it Energon Pro? I've seen pictures of him and only in robot mode. Uh, in, not in robot mode, in fucking vehicle mode. And, uh, which is a good thing because he looks kind of awesome sauce here. But his robot mode is absolutely fucking tossed. But you know what, he was a couple of quid, so. Sorry, I keep turning to put up here so I can get the next thing. And that's why I keep going. Ooh. We'll call this section of the video all about Prime. Because I've um, had to clear a lot of space on the Prime shelf for, for some of the things I bought. Um, let's see, we shall start with this guy. Is it Combo Prime? It's the plastic one, it's not the metal one. It is the official one though, it's not It's not the, the, the knockoff one. I think he's complete, he's got his little gun there, look. I can't get it out of his hand, but it's there. And he's awesome, I've not been able to get him to transform properly. He's always loose, and I don't know if that's me doing it wrong, or if it's just... This is a piece of shit, but uh, you know what, he looks cool-ish when he's nearly in <laughs> car mode, so or vehicle mode, so... You know, he's awesome, he was cheap, so I like him. Uh, but at this point I will talk about the fact that I was after some Prime Powermaster arms, because mine were fucked after AA last year. And x Rider, or Mr. Rich himself, he gave me some. So I've got a couple of replacement arms and he very kindly gave me them for nothing, so that's... Yay! That was very nice. I enjoyed seeing him. Liked meeting him, he was a nice dude. This is one of the ones I've no idea what it is. I've seen it, pictures of it, like, you know, just randomly and stuff. And I'm not sure what it's called and where it came from, but it's this dude. It's another Prime. Um, comes with his Target Master and his little weapon. Uh, he was just nothing. He was, like, a couple of quid. But he's cool, and he'll definitely, definitely look good in the Prime shelf. Um, I found, as well, they were selling the, Orion, the Generations Orion packs for, like, 25 quid in a box. And at the Toy Fu stall, which was the charity stall, he had him loose for a tenner with his weapons. I think that's his gun, I'm not sure. I've got to go through the bag actually and make sure that each everyone's got the right weapons. But oh, I don't care he's in his box because he's going on the shelf anyway. But oh, again, I wanted the Ryan packs last year. Oh, and, um, and he, he, by the time I'd made my mind up, he was gone. So that's another sort of regret solved for last year. I also got Fall of Cyber. Is it Fall of Cybertron? Yes, this is. Fall of Cybertron Optimus. I've got the Ultra Magnus in this mould, and I don't like it that much. It's not shit by any means, it just doesn't look Ultra Magnus much, it doesn't invoke him. This, however, is just prime through and through, and maybe one of my favourite figures that I picked up this year, because he looks so awesome sauce. Oh, I love him. Yeah, I love me a bit of prime. Oosh. Now this is one I'm not sure of. Um, I'm guessing... Not Energon, not Armada. It's a tiny prime, I don't know what one it is. Energon, maybe? I don't know, but he was again in a box for a quid, so I got him just because I like to have primes. Prime is good for me, and I will always buy one that I don't have, unless it's really shit. But yeah, there we go, so you prime, that'll look good on the old shelf there. My final pickup, toy wise anyway, was this dude <laughs> Laser Prime. Do 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 do. I think I'm doing like noises and stuff. Try to keep my energy up, I suppose. Ooh. Um, again, I saw him on ID Toys, and I think it's the one I've been watching on eBay for ages. I've had it from donks and donks, but the picture was dead, nondescript. It's just, it was just like, I've seen a picture, and it's like, well, what if he's got fucking bits missing underneath and stuff? How am I might know. I know that the boys would do a bad job with it. I think they all seem to be really friendly and trustworthy and stuff. But seeing him in the flesh, I was able to take a punt, and 
<sighs> and you want to see, hang on. Look at the fucking light piping on that. Yeah, so he's awesome. Considering I said I wasn't going to buy anything, I've done kind of well for myself. Um, yeah, that's all I picked up toy-wise. So the only other thing I want to mention, just put them down there, is... Last year, Mr. Men's had a t-shirt that he got us all the time, and I thought that's a really good idea. Didn't want to copy it, so my kid drew a little picture of the Autobot symbol and colours it in. She does that kind of stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take that and get it signed and get it framed, which I did. And it looks awesome! It's got signatures from, like, we've got Dave Mentz, and we've got Dorian, Johnny Spoonatron, we've got... Who's that? Awesome, mate, you do love... Dick, can't read that. Uh, Bisto signed it. So, a lot of the dudes that, you know, I enjoy listening to and enjoy getting on with stuff. Uh, I even got Paul Eating to sign it. Perceptor. Ooh, that's me kid. Uh, yeah, so that's going to go up. I'm not sure. I was going to hang it up in here. But it might actually go... Um, ooh, what's she doing? It might actually go up somewhere else in the house. Um, yeah, I've got a few other things. Like, um, Ben Watson gave us a little energy on comic. That's awesome. I'm going to get a frame for that. Uh, I can't think I've got some free stuff from got free GoBot posters and free GoBot ma uh, fanzines and stuff. It was all really good. Had a great weekend, but that's just what I picked up. I've seen everyone was doing their videos, so I thought, you know, while the fever's high, I better get mine out there. Um, plus, I can get them on the pit in the shelves, because they'll just take up loads of space. Um, yeah, very happy with everything I got. Very happy, very happy. A few I was after for a while. Uh, and then, you know, things like... People just being nice and giving you stuff because you're, I don't know why actually, but that was really appreciated very, very, very much so. And I'm going to have fun over the next few weeks playing with all my new toys. So I hope you had a good time, I hope you didn't get as drunk as me, and I hope you are there next year. See you later!